for home. <laughs> In the land of tomorrow. No future here today. Tomorrowland has bought and borrowed From long ago and far, far away Now it's changed It's changed The mouse in Star Wars had intercourse George Lucas said it was like divorce Dead horse So low Must be the season of the force Must be the season of the force Yeah Must be the season of the force Did I miss something? When did we get to Disneyland? Star Wars days are now through May 26th at Disneyland Park. So I heard an unsubstantiated rumor that there's a new Space Battles movie coming out. I haven't seen any ads for it. I don't None. know. No. None whatsoever. I have no idea. So how long have you been waiting for your flights? I'm Tom Hanks in the terminal, so I've been here for a while. What are you Tom Hanks in? Personally, I'm Tom Hanks in Forrest Gump because I like to talk to volleyballs. <laughs> Okay, so we just rode Star Tours for the first of at least two times today. Yes. We got the Falcon, we got John Boyega. Jakku. Jakku, is yes. that the name of the planet? Yes. Okay. BB-8. BB-8 and then Coruscant. Now there's a B-4 and a C-4. Yeah. So, yeah. The, um, so we can blow it up with C-4. I'm assuming right now it's always Jakku and BB-8. Yes. That's yes. what I've heard. Oh, really? Yeah, during Season of the Force, it is always set to those two. Okay. Uh, so the only two that, that are randomized are the beginning and, beginning sequence and the ending sequence. Yes. Yeah. All right, so it's it just... Up afterwards. Right? Yes. yes. So it's just six choices. Will they take old ones out to make room for them, or will they just increase the rotation? Yeah. It could be. It, they could but, very well like keep it at you know, 54. Yeah. They could keep it at 54, or if they just add them to the rotation, it goes all the way up to 96 possible outcomes. Increasing the total outcomes to 96 doesn't really change all that much. because. But they can advertise it as almost 100. They can advertise it as almost 100, but it's not that much more effort on their part because they're only adding... Now it's even Too more impossible seats. to get the segments you want. The talk, new nope. segments aren't bad, so it's there is less likely a chance of getting a bad run. Based on the sequence we got, both John Boyega and Han are in the Falcon during Jakku. Well, of course, the John Boyega scene kind of it, was, it kind of sucked that all white people were genocided during it. <laughs> I mean, how do you feel about being genocided? George Lucas doesn't like white people. There was that weird moment when, when we're on what was it? Jakku. 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 Okay. Jack who? Jack you. Jack you. Yeah. We were on Jack you up. There's this weird moment where it all stops, and like the, the like like the ship crashes and it comes to a stop, and there's those weird. There's like scavengers in there. Like, yeah. like kind of like Jawas, but not really. A lot more militant than Jawas, I yeah, would say. Yeah. BB-8 sequence was so much longer than any of the other hologram sequences. Right. Right. Says he has vital information to deliver and needs our help. <laughs> BB-8? It's like, you know, that's just not as good as R2-D2. That's kind of a dumb name. She is a beautiful girl. Oh wait, is BB-8 <laughs> a girl? I In that case, that's a great name. <laughs> I, I thought it was supposed to be a masculine name. I brought my well, point to prove it. masculine just because it's a ball. Yeah, but it's... it's. Ladies have orbital parts too. Yeah, but I can't see them, so they... Pixar doesn't count. Coruscant did not have any changes. Um, even though some other of the rides had some updates. Like last time, we got Naboo. We hate yeah. getting Naboo. But well, now, but now. Na well, I haven't seen it yet. I've heard rumors about the Naboo scene. It's true. All of it. I had a horrifying thought while riding it. Because Disney's never going to stop making Star Wars movies. They're, and as long as they keep making Star Wars movies, they're probably going to keep updating Star Tours. What are they going to do when Anthony Daniel dies? Anthony Daniel. 
sounds. They could just record him He's like dead. doing a bunch of different vocal sounds. Yeah. And yeah. Put it <laughs> oh no, where are we? Oh no, this planet. That person has sure backed him or herself into quite a predicament. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. I can't believe I said Anthony Daniel instead of Anthony Daniels. I, I'm a horrible person. He's getting old. There's only one of him left. You know, the odds against Christmas being Christmas are 365 to 1. Never tell me the odds. I like that they still have Kenny Baker on set, even though they don't need to have a person inside R2-D2. No. It's, just, it's just the legacy of Kenny Baker. Absolutely. And because yes. Peter Dinklage is too expensive. I met Kenny Baker once at a con with Luke. Did he yeah. kick you? I feel like he's the kind of person who would kick you. At one point he said possibly the most British joke I've ever heard, which is, you know, it's, uh, he said something about, it, like someone was late to something, he's like, it's alright, I'm not late because I'm not even here, I'm somewhere else. You see, I'm not over there and I'm not over there, so I must be somewhere else, so I'm somewhere else. <laughs> that is the most only British he, joke. Only he pointed up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, only he said it like this. So I'm not somewhere else, so I'm somewhere else. You know? <laughs> there, now your Kenny Baker impression is complete. Hello. They could set it so that you only ever get uh, consistent scenes. If you get Jakku, you only get scenes that could still happen during episode 7. They probably won't do that because it wouldn't be worth the effort just for the sake of nerd canon. I think all the uh, different timeline things can be solved by simply renaming the ride The Empire Strikes Back to the Future of the Ride. Yes. There you go. Yeah, but then we have to assume that you break the speed of light at 88 miles an hour, and I feel like science has disproven that. Hell, I disproved that on the freeway coming here. The Imagineers care about nerdery because they put in the hatbox ghost and stuff. That's your Kenny Baker impression? <laughs> <laughs> no, we had a point it no, up No, no, Kenny, Kenny Baker would be... Yes. <laughs> you can't racist. hand down. <laughs> that is racist. Against white people, but I yes. already told you. I but we genocided that. them, so... So we're here going to Hyperspace Mountain, which is like normal Space Mountain, but a little more hyper. Yeah, because it's on a sugar rush after Halloween. <laughs> which means that it's also the Wreck-It Ralph ride. And may the falls be with you. It's a tourist trap! These missions can feel like a high-speed roller coaster type ride in the dark. It can feel like a roller coaster ride in the dark. So it's not actually a roller coaster at all. No, we, are really, we are really going into space. Oh yeah. But it feels a lot but like it a But it feels like a roller coaster. I'm sure that's what Neil Armstrong said. The odds against Christmas being Christmas are 365 to 1. Hyperspace and chill. See, there used to be a girl sitting there, but the moment I tried to put my hand there, she jumped out of the rocket, and I haven't seen oh, her man. since. We are in the empty room formerly known as Starcade, which is not blocked off, oddly enough. Yeah, it's for stroller parking. It's for stroller parking uh, and for saying stuff on camera. I haven't seen a place this dead since Innoventions. I was disappointed at the beginning, because that was the, the time where it was like, oh, and now we're going to hyperspace. We're still moving at like yeah, one mile we're an hour. Climbing the thing. I was hoping you'd go into hyperspace as you fell it. Like it would be like. That would, yeah. Uh, yeah except that, they couldn't I, do the, the I, bluish I Doctor the, Who the, effect. The, the star fields, I thought, were a little light. Yeah. Like there were so many yeah. areas where it was just darkness where there should have been like stars wasn't around. Having the dog fight all around you and less star field was actually more disorienting to me than regular Space Mountain. Mm -hmm. So for a roller coaster, I think that part was beneficial. The thing that works to Ghost Galaxy's benefit that works against Hyperspace Mountain is the effects are supposed to be sort of ethereal. The Ghost Demon doesn't really have a completely physical form, but the X-Wings and TIE Fighters are supposed to be very real physical objects, which don't work quite as well with the Space Mountain projections. There is that one physical TIE Fighter prop that you go past. Yeah. Space right Mountain, under the which is fighter. really cool. And Wait, that was a physical prop? There no. was one physical. I thought that really? was a screen. I thought it's that was a screen. A screen. That goes into a is it a screen? Oh, it okay. is. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. And I like Maybe the effect it of the lasers physical, shooting out better. and yeah. shooting at you, like the yeah. green tracking lasers. Mm -hmm. Those work really well. Yeah. And ultimately, you know, even if it's not quite as good as Ghost Galaxy, it's still Space Mountain. Oh, yeah. at the end yeah. of the day, yeah. at the end of the day, it's still one the, of the greatest Space roller Mountain coasters with ever built. John Williams music. Too. Oh, yeah. If you had like to replace going up that Michael Giacchino lift. with anyone, it has to be. It would be John Williams. Since usually you replace it the other way around. I really enjoy Hyperspace Mountain, but I'm glad it's not permanent. So I'm glad we get regular Space Mountain back eventually. How am I holding the camera again? It's supposed to be my because show. you're the jerk with the camera. Yes, of course. Hello, I'm in this too. It's no, broken it's again! You it's realize it could have broken with us on it. That would have been amazing because I've always wanted to go on there with lights on. And have to take some weird janky stairs out no, or something. No, they, they shove you through the rest of the ride. Oh, do yeah. they? Is this the droid you're looking for? 
No. So there was no spy this time. They literally just showed a black screen. They didn't even bother to show an alien or something. They just showed... I guess. Like yeah, I said, oh. George Lucas doesn't care about white yeah. people. We got Vader at the beginning and Naboo at the end. There is a little Boba Fett cameo in the Vader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he replaced one of the jetpack troopers. Which means if you got the Vader opening and then ended at the Death Star, it would actually tell a story. Because yeah. it would be Boba yeah. Fett and Vader try to get you, and then you wind up falling ass backwards back into their presence. Let's focus on but the story when you get, when you get... of Naboo. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Let's focus on that story. A million people on Twitter and Facebook have all contacted <laughs> me to let me know that yes, we actually hit Jar Jar in this Because one. somebody did a monologue about this once. Nearly. We nearly hit that poor Gungan. Now we finally did. We finally got him. Instead of standing there waving at us and ducking, Jar Jar is swimming. We hit him and his face goes up against the glass and then he goes up and over. I might be making a controversial statement when I say this, but... I was not satisfied. I'm sorry, I was not satisfied by that. Because it was too much of a pratfall and not violent enough. It's like... Now, as much as you can have headcanon that he suffered a concussion from being hit there and died very painfully five minutes later off camera because he doesn't even deserve an on-screen death, I don't think we hit him... I don't think we hit him hard enough. Or he really could don't. have hung on to the tail of the speeder just long enough to get eaten by a fish. Well, there is that. Him rolling off lifeless was satisfying to me, just the impact wasn't. The version in my head of what killing Jar Jar would entail was a version that I knew Disney would never actually put in a ride. I knew Green there would not over the windshield. blood. Like I Andy's knew there mom. <sighs> yeah, I knew. I knew there would not be a confirmation, a, a kill confirmation in the ride. That said. Even ignoring the catharsis of hitting Jar Jar, it is still a superior ride film to the earlier Naboo ride film because it's more dynamic, like there's actually something that happens there. It makes more sense for Jar Jar to be swimming there than it makes sense for him to just be standing there and ducking. Because it's so boring just to go through this dogfight, hit the water, and then just see something waving there. Also, like, yeah. you never see Jar Jar stand underwater. You never like, see him swim. You never, you never see anyone stand under the water unless they're him, in a diving suit. That's more like the movie than the other version was. So, from every possible but do you really angle... you want to be more like that movie? I'm not saying you do, but I'm just saying from every possible... But do you really want to be worse than that, that movie? Is, yeah, true. that's the thing. From every possible angle you can look at this, it's not perfection, but it's an improvement over the old version of the Naboo yeah. ride film. The only unbelievable part of it is 3PO says, maybe that Gunkin can help us. <laughs> yeah. 3PO would know better than well, that. Well, his memory's been erased. In the queue, he mentions Jar Jar. That's right. He's like, uh. those, like those Gunkins can be rather annoying. No, not just Jar Jar, all of them. If they're keeping that as the Naboo sequence, then if someone gets Kashyyyk and Naboo, then it's two different instances of a character smushed up again. You know, that might be why they changed it. If they really wanted to do Star Tours, but around it, Episode 7, just bring back the original. Why the hell is there a third death song? Meet Chewbacca and C-3PO live in person. Nick had to go to work and Dave had to drive him to work. So we just saw this, Star Wars Path of the Jedi. Which is one of the best fan trailers, I will say. Is it, it is basically just a fan trailer. It is a fan trailer for... But a really good one. Yeah, it's, essentially it's kind the of, entire saga. It's kind of a primer for everything you need to know about Star Wars for when you see number seven. One of the clips they show in this thing is Vader throwing the Emperor. And thank Christ Almighty, he doesn't say a goddamn thing. I will say this. Decided lack of Jake Lloyd. And Jar Jar. noticeable lack of Jar Jar. Yeah. It basically used um, the idea of the machete order of using the prequels as an extended flashback yeah, 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 in the yeah, middle yeah, yeah. of the original That's exactly trilogy. what this is. I it, think that's why I loved it so it's much. It's kind of a machete order trailer. Words on the floor. There be words on the floor. There's words on the floor. Words on the floor. So did Brian De Palma write this floor? So that, my friends, was Season of the Force, but Season of the Force is only the beginning. Soon, an entire land will be opening here at Disneyland themed to Star Wars, and while we all welcome such a promising development, sadly it comes at the expense of Big Thunder Ranch. Let's check it out one last time, shall we? Come on. I said come on! Well, 
Um, season of the Horse didn't do as well. So what do you, exactly how do you feel about your home turf being invaded by spacemen? So after this place unfortunately closes, uh, what's going to happen to these animals? They're all going together to a home that has some of our other goats, and they're going to be reunited and have a happy fairy tale ending. Aw, but I'm hungry now! Take one, just pick whichever one you want, and they'll cook it up for you with barbecue. Oh, excellent! All hail the king of the goats! Are you aware of the legend of the nature's wonderland animatronics? When they got rid of the attraction and they were developing this land here, they buried all of them in this area. Really? Yeah. Under this ground. Under, under this ground, under that ground over there. Now, has this been proven or is it just an urban legend? It's urban legend slash possible imaginary legend. So gotcha. it's it's probably along those same lines as the Hatbox Ghost and the E.T. dumpster. Which were both true. So. Which were both true. Yes. This is what happens to the kids at Pleasure Island. Pew, 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 indeed. We have officially become the men who stare at goats. No. When ya la goat, see la goat. When ya It's possible when they do break ground here, they will find... They're going find... to find a graveyard of animatronics. Oh my. What would be extra ironic is if Universal buried all the E.T. animatronics here. And then the Angry Video Game Nerd tried to find them. Yep. They've crossed out the George underneath their shoes and they've written in JJ, so there you go. You know, the weird thing about washing your hands is you need hands. Oh. Perhaps the most beautiful sight we'll ever lose. <laughs> They're using it as the model for the Sarlacc pit. You're zooming in, aren't you? Mm -hmm.